Hey there everybody, it's Chris Murray with Child Care Marketing Solutions and I'm coming at you with another weekly blog video tip. And in today's blog, I wanna to talk to you about drop-in programs. We recently got a question on one of our Gold Core coaching calls from Gold Core member Shayna. And Shayna runs a 24-7 child care program. Holy bejesus, that is quite the challenge, but she is rocking it. And she's having um, a little bit of a challenge and had some questions around how to make sure and ensure that she had security at night in particular with her drop-in program. So part of her 24-7 child care program is, is that she allows drop-ins because it's a pretty effective way to fill the evening and night, um, especially for parents that want to go out and have a date night or a night out on the town and want to use drop-in care. But her concern was around security. And that's a totally you know, natural and, and good concern to have. And so what we guided Shana um, yesterday on our Gold Core call was we told her um, a couple things that she can do to try to um, improve the experience of all drop-in children at night and also deal with the security issue. So um, there's actually kind of a bigger solution around this, which is to make your drop-in program a membership program. And so um, when you are taking drop-in care, I think it's a best practice, and some of our members have done this to huge success, to require them to come in in advance and fill out paperwork so that they become a member of your drop-in program. And you can title your drop-in program something cute, um, like Happy Families Drop-in Care or something that has to do with your brand and your logo as an extension of that. Um, but when they, when they become a member of that program, they would pay a small monthly fee. So in order to be able to drop in, just for the ability to drop in, they need to be, become members. And this will allow you to have a small revenue stream um, in addition to just your regular drop-in rates. So it's a luxury to be able to drop in whenever you want in the evenings and go out for a date night for parents. And so you want to position it that way. Um, and we, you know, we have this program. And so it's might be 29 bucks a month or um, 49 bucks a month as a membership just for the ability to drop in. So there's that level of revenue and business best practice where they come in and they become members. And they might get some other benefits as part of that, like they might get a welcome package or a child's t-shirts and onesies and some things and some gifts to make them feel like their investment in drop-in care to be in this program is worthwhile. Um, so that's the first point. And when you do that, you now have a set community of drop-in parents that can get to know each other, they're already vetted, you don't have some strange, you know, stranger, even though it's a family, some dad with his baby or child walking up at 10 o'clock at night because they want to drop in. That's not, that's not your policy. Your policy is you need to work with us, come in during the day, preferably, or fill out the paperwork in advance and having talked to you on the phone, dad, you can come in and bring all the stuff in and we're going to meet with you, we're going to interview you, we're going to go through your policies, take the child, watch the child, and then do the drop-in. So having that layer of extra membership and also um, just the security policies paperwork aspect of having them register in advance. Now they're all set up, they're set up in your system, you're good to go and they can drop in basically whenever they want. So that was the first point that I made to Shana. The other point I wanna make is about pricing. So with having that basis of membership fee will help you cover your costs. You wanna make sure that you price your drop-in care um, competitively but high. So I would be looking at who else in my market is doing drop-in care, if anybody. And if you're the only game in town, that's huge because you basically are a monopoly and you can charge you know, reasonable but high because you're the only one doing it. So do not undercut yourself. Don't be the nice guy necessarily and, and undercut yourself in terms of pricing. Um, you definitely want to charge you know, a higher hourly rate than a typical day rate um, for drop-in care. It's a luxury and it's something that parents 
need and want to pay for. And if you're the only game in town, you definitely want to price it um, appropriately so that you make money and you're able to be profitable and pay your teachers well, especially if they're providing care you know, at 11 o'clock at night, you're going to be wanting to pay your teachers a premium. For, for doing that. So you're going to be charging a premium as well. So that's another just important takeaway. So those are two key points that I just wanted to make regarding your drop-in care. And if you don't have drop-in as part of your program, you might look at your market and consider adding it, especially if you're in a market that, for example, Gainesville, Florida. We had a client that had a huge following that went to um, University of Florida Gators games on Saturday. And so they created a Saturday morning kids club, which was drop in care so that parents could drop their kids prior to going to the Gators games and going to tailgate and such. So they were able to capitalize on what was going on in their market because their market needed care for college football games. And so they, they named it, they charged a membership fee and they priced it accordingly. And it was, it was a good money maker for them. So you want, and it provided a service to the community that was much needed. So you want to look at your market and see if there are things like that going on where you can provide drop-in care for specific times. Um, certainly mommy's days out, certainly holiday shopping type, type things when parents really need a break and they need to be able to go out without the kids. Um, and have have some parent time. So those are all tips and I hope that you are able to take those and consider adding drop-in care as a revenue stream if you don't currently have it. Okay everybody, this has been Chris Murray with childcare-marketing.com and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.